Hello and welcome back to SciTech. Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a continuity tester out of using just a few simple components. And to be able to test electrical circuits just like this. Let's get started. And these are the items that you're going to need to make for this device. The items you're going to need are these modified jumper cables, a 3 volt button cell battery holder, a 3 volt button cell battery, two LEDs of the color of your choice, and of course an active buzzer. Now let's go ahead and assemble this device and let's get started. First I want to start with the LEDs and the buzzer. What I'm going to do is take these LEDs and drop it through the screw hole just like this. Put them both in just like that. Glue them into place. There we go, it should look just like this. Now bend the leads over just like this. Next, you're going to take a positive wire and solder it to the positive pin of your button cell battery holder. Solder the probe to your negative pin of your button cell battery holder. And there you have it, positive wire and the probe connected to the button cell battery holder. Next, I'm going to cut the positive wire from the buzzer. And I want it to be about this length. Remove the insulation. Glue down the wire. Next, I'm going to solder the positive wire from the buzzer to the anode of the LED. Then I'm going to take a positive wire and I'm going to bridge both of the anodes of the LEDs together. Just like this. As you can see, I repeat the same process of the negative wire, except I haven't connected the other wire to the other cathode because I want to connect the probe in between. Okay, so now I have my probe wire, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the negative wire. Simply twist them together, just like this. And then glue them down into place. And now I'm going to go ahead and solder those two wires to the cathode of the LED, just like this. There we go, one probe is now connected. Okay, so now I have my button cell battery holder, and I'm going to go ahead and solder the positive wire to the anode of the LED. And it will also connect to the rest of the positive of the circuit. Put the button cell battery holder into place, and test it out. And there, it works. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue everything into place. And there you have it, it should look just like this. Everything is connected, and now let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see, hold it here like that. There we go, test it out just like this, connect the two leads, and... So now I put a little bit of hot glue in this hole of this buzzer, so now it's not as loud. But those of you, if you don't want to, by all means, go ahead and leave it open if you want it loud. But now this should sound better. Okay, so now here's uh, some random circuit that I found. This here is a full bridge rectifier that's supposed to control lights. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see if all the connections are connected and see if this works properly. So I'm going to go ahead and touch this here. Now something else you can test. I have right here this mercury tilt switch. You can tell that there could be a connection by touching this wire 
and then touching this wire. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own continuity tester with using just a few simple components. And there you have it. Thank you for watching Sci-Tai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future Sci-Tai Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.